to IB. Suzanne Johnson. IBC? IB. IB. She's probably saying infinite banking. The answer is yes. So the question was, class, if I'm already debt free, right? I got no freaking debt. And I've got, you know, income, got my expenses, I got decent cash flow. Maybe I have a debt tool that I might want to use for the uh, infinite banking concept. The answer is yes. There's no need to do velocity banking if I don't have any debt and I'm not investing in anything. Okay, so if I, if I don't have debt, I'm debt free, and I'm not investing, velocity banking is sort of like on idle. It, it would not make sense to just do velocity banking in terms of paying bills unless you're using a credit card. But even then, you're not increasing cash flow when you do that. What you're doing is you're getting cash back rewards and you're building your credit. So maybe there's a little, there's like a little, uh, you know, uh, income gain from that by getting cash back rewards and things like that. But um, in that scenario, yes. So we can, we can skip velocity banking, go right to IBC, start our high cash value life insurance policy, get that show on the road. And here's how I determine your numbers. Okay, here's what I, here's one way that we can set up this type of account. And for those that are new and you don't know what the infinite banking concept is, in a nutshell, it's what we do with velocity banking. But at the same time, we're actually creating wealth using life insurance. Specifically on this channel and other channels um, that teach IBC, typically we use whole life policies rather than um, IUL. So if you're ever talking to an IBC agent, majority of the time they're going to show you a whole life policy. Typically you want to go with the four major mutual life insurance companies. You want to look at how much money is going towards premium, okay, and how much is going towards cash, all right. In a nutshell, any policy you look at, you want anywhere from 10 to 25 percent going towards premium of however much money you put in, and then you want anywhere from 75 percent to 90 percent going towards cash. Most of my clients that I work with, I stick with the 90 because it just makes sense based on how. I like to structure the accounts. So what I do typically is if I was going to establish my own private bank or my own family bank, whatever the different um, terminologies that people are using, what I do is I look at your expenses, I look at your cash flow, and I see, okay, how much um, bills can I pay annually, like right up front? And if I have a, a a line of credit or some sort of debt tool that I can stuff a capital amount of money, you know, like a, like a large sum of money, an initial capital, into the policy. Whatever that number is, right, we want majority going towards cash, very little towards premium. As Soon as that occurs, what I'm doing, instead of using your cash flow to cover this cost of insurance, what I'm actually doing is I'm taking your cash flow, tizing it by 12 for the whole year to get a you know, nice little estimate, see where we're at. Let's say for you it's uh, you know, 20,000 a year you have in, in excess cash flow. Okay, great. So you got that 20K. But what I actually want to do is look at your expenses, right? And see how much expenses could I run through here to increase that capital. Also, if you're an individual that does have debt, I'm going to look at your debts and see what debts could I shift there. So before I make a chunk towards a debt from a line of credit from doing velocity banking, if there's enough cash flow, good income, initial capital to work with, what I like to do is send the money to you first 
then I borrow against it to pay off debt. IBC ends up being better than Velocity Banking in a lot of cases that I work with from what I've been noticing because you're creating your own line of credit here that doesn't require a credit check. You don't have to worry about utilization or anything like that, okay? So next question, that was pretty in depth. I love talking about IBC because I'm learning more and more about it. I'm learning about the, the red flags and what to be aware of and you know who to work with who to trust because that stuff is uh you know not not easily comprehended right away it took me like a whole year to get it and now i have two policies one with mass one with guardian and i'm just sending money to it which then i borrow against to fund my business to get things like this not bad right mm -hmm.